Hello, and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today's topic is turning obstacles into opportunities. Thank you for watching The Softer Side, storytelling therapy and life coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. Again, today's topic is turning obstacles into opportunities. And this little poster says, May you see sunshine where others see shadows and opportunities where others see obstacles. So we're going to talk some more about that. Overcome your discouraging obstacles. Managing our minds and overcoming all of our insecurities and obstacles that hold us back from being our best selves is our responsibility. If we quit or take the easy route instead, the contribution we could have made will never come to pass. If you are discouraged, it's because you're believing something negative or disempowering about yourself or about the process and you need to understand what that is so you can overcome it. The people who are the most successful are the people who are the most willing to experience discouragement, vulnerability, and fear. Those are the ones who will keep moving ahead. There's always a temptation to give up, so we don't have to feel those emotions that we must feel when we're growing. When you conquer obstacles, you become stronger, and you become the person that you want to become. It's not just what you do, it's who you get to be in that process. There are no hard days. There's no such thing as a hard day until you add an opinion to it that says, this was a hard day. Then we've created the hard day. The hard day isn't made by the day. The hard day is made by the thought about the day. Using I had a hard day as an excuse, as a reason to not show up, not be your best self, not to process your emotion or be connected, will only create an obstacle for you. Don't wish your day was easier. Decide to be stronger. The more challenges I must face, the better, because that means I'm going to have to evolve into a person who can achieve a higher level of success. How important it is for us to have the mindset of overcoming anything, not because we're smart or talented, but because we have the tenacity, the desire, and the willingness to overcome, no matter what. That is true success. Napoleon Hill said, Every adversity carries with it the seed of equal or greater benefit. Helen Keller said, A happy life consists not in the absence, but in the mastery of hardships. Charles R. Swindoll said, We are all faced with a series of great opportunities, brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. Now let's hear the story, The Obstacle in Our Path. In ancient times, there was a well-traveled road between the two largest and most well-appointed towns in a fair-sized kingdom. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers would journey on this road along with travelers, townsfolk, and every kind of tinker and craftsperson. Whenever the road would develop potholes or other damage, the people would complain loudly to have it repaired for their daily use. Although the people from both towns would travel the road regularly, neither town was eager to pay for nor complete the repairs. 
Whenever road maintenance was being done, the people would also complain about it heartily for being an inconvenience, blocking traffic, and taking too long. Usually the people would blame the king and his men for any problems that came about in regards to this road. One day the king grew weary of the people of the two wealthy towns complaining about the road. They would blame everyone for its condition, but they would not lift a finger to help the situation. The next morning, while it was still dark, The king and his men went to the middle of this road and rolled a very large boulder into the center. He knew this would block traffic and wanted to see what the people would do about it. The king and his men hid in the forest and watched as the sun rose and travelers began to come into view along the road, walking, riding, and driving their wagons. They saw the obstruction in the road and became flustered and frustrated. Many people angrily blamed the king for not keeping the roads clear, but none of them did anything about getting the stone out of the way. They made their way around the rock if possible, or went back the way they had come if not. A peasant man then came along carrying a load of vegetables. It was obvious by the shabby clothes he wore that he was not a resident of either one of the big, wealthy towns that were situated on either end of this road. Upon approaching the boulder, the peasant laid down his burden and tried to push the stone out of the road. People walking along the road saw this large, muscular, sweating peasant straining and pushing the rock out of the road. They shook their heads and walked around him, complaining about their inconvenience of having to wait to squeeze by. Nobody offered to help. The peasant man succeeded in pushing the rock out of the road and, dusting himself off, tiredly lumbered over to pick up his load of vegetables and continue on his way. The king and his men came out of the woods and approached the peasant. The king said to the peasant, You did a fine job clearing this road today, but this isn't your job and nobody would even stop to help you. Why did you do it? The man looked at the king and smiled as he said, Every obstacle we come across in life offers an opportunity. The stone blocking this road was my opportunity to help all the people who will travel this way. The king replied, You truly have helped many people with this deed. Although you expected no reward for your efforts, I will offer you this bag of coins and my friendship. If you ever have need of employment or any other help from me, you have earned it today, and I am glad to give it to you. But tell me, how did you move such a large stone by yourself? It took three of my men to do it. The peasant took the bag of coins and thanked the king as he said, All the adversity I have had in my life, all my troubles and obstacles, have strengthened me. So what do you think? Do you seek out challenges or do you shy away from them? What opportunities have you uncovered by facing obstacles? And how have you grown in determination and tenacity through your struggles? Every time we come up against an obstacle, it presents an opportunity to us, something we need to move out of our way so we can uncover what's underneath. Sometimes what's underneath is just that we've grown as a human being. We have evolved. We've gotten stronger. And if we need to face that same obstacle again in the future, it'll be much easier the next time. Every time we come up against an obstacle, something in the way between us and our goals, we need to remember to look for the opportunity that's hidden within that obstacle. Remember, there's a free booklet of this story available to you at esofterside.com. And you can download that there if you choose and share it with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching today, learning about turning obstacles into opportunities, and I'll see you again soon.
I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.